fucking oh god. Alright, this is horrible. Thank god we can fix that in post. Alright, in the background of course you hear beats by uh, the usual, the uh, notorious Dynamask <laughs> Monkey host of your show today along with uh, boy Mike and the uh, girl with no name. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Today is uh, not one of the beat shows. Uh, today is uh, the Geek Show. So the uh, weekly Geek Session beats, but, uh, bits, bots, and beats. Well, I never settled on a name for that. <coughs> the reason I'm whispering is uh, I, I just realized the mic levels are crazy high. So I gotta, give me a second, I gotta get up over there on the 404 and uh, fix these mic levels. Then we'll get down to work. So, uh, just uh, hang in there. Okay, enough of that. So, again, if you uh, want some more of those beats, come back to one of my other shows. Um, which are uh, on the schedule, whichever direction that is, uh, come back to one of those shows. Uh, or uh, check me out on SoundCloud or YouTube, youtube.com slash Monkey. Or uh, the same for SoundCloud and everywhere else too, Diamaster Monkey. <coughs> Again, my apologies, crazy hot here today. How are you guys doing? Um, anyways... So uh, today is going to be all Drone Sound TV. It's going to be all about Drone Sound TV. And you're going to be like, oh man, not that again. Um, but uh, hey, wait, don't leave yet. Because um, a lot of this has to do with Twitch. <coughs> Actually, and with Twitch performers. And um, continuing that development of uh, what I call Stage Ghost. The uh, uh, stream performer's assistant. Assistant. Stagehand thing. I'm moving everything around here, trying to get very comfortable, at least tolerable. Anyways, all right. So bad mic skills, and uh, we are on the way. So drone sound TV, right? Oh, why does this relate to it? Anyways, in case you're, uh, in case you've, uh, <coughs> you're a regular, and you're like, oh man, I don't want any more drone sound TV. Uh, well, why does this relate to you? Was uh, actually it's going. Uh, to um, uh, be about Twitch. What the hell was I talking about? Man, it's so crazy hot here. My brain is boiling. All right. Drone Sound TV, if you don't know, is the 24-hour uh, uh, autonomous drone station at uh, YouTube.com. Uh, it doesn't have its own station yet, but it will. Anyways, um, it's run by Raspberry Pi, which you are seeing on the screen up there. That, in fact, is the Raspberry pie in question. I'm pointing at it in the real world. Okay, so anyways, uh, why Raspberry Pi? Well, uh, mostly because uh, it's all like novelty value and stuff. People dig it. It gets a lot of attention. As you know, I've done a lot of uh, Arduino stuff on this show. still consider myself primarily an Arduino guy. But uh, hey, Raspberry Pi is all the rage. And it's got some fun, of course, too. Um, one of the things we can do with a Pi that we can't do with easily with an Arduino is, uh, is audio. And so I've explored those capabilities in the Drone Sound TV project. As I said before, you'll find it on YouTube. Just search for Drone Sound TV. <coughs> Pardon me. Now it's, um, it's off this, the air right now, of course, because I only have the one stream. And we are in right now. Uh, so... So, Drone Sound TV is off the air, but there's a bunch of replays there. You can check it out if you're like, hey, what's this all about? But uh, you don't have to because you're looking at it on the screen. Um, where is my desktop thing? There we go. Okay, so this is what Drone Sound TV looks like most of the time and uh, sounds like what you're hearing in the background most of the time. A uh, mix of samples from all over the place, and we'll probably talk about that. Uh, if you're uh, quick on your feet, you might have noticed there's some URLs down here to point to freesound.org and might have assumed that those go to the sounds that we are hearing. You are correct. Ding, 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 ding. So give yourself a cookie there. And um, let's see, in the middle over here. Oops, damn, I wish I could have reversed. All right. So 
So in the middle over here, uh, in the dark area, what you see is a uh, console display. I'm actually typing on it right now. So I use OBS, <coughs> and that's a um, that's just a, a, a window capture of the um, uh, of an SSH session into the Pi. Um, but uh, it's it's actually more than that. You're gonna you're gonna see in a second. But first, I want to I want to show you uh, how this uh, is working. So with the uh, status report, there's like gobs of commands involved in drone sound TV. There's a whole bunch of little utilities involved. This one tells us the sounds that are currently playing. So actually, it's not just those two sounds that you see down at the bottom there. Uh, it's those are the two most recent sounds that were added to the mix. Uh, all those other six samples uh, are playing the other four as well. So um, there's also a filter, <coughs> a low-pass filter. It says the filter frequency is set to... Uh, oh, it doesn't say, actually. It's uh, set to 1100 um, hertz. Anyways, a bunch of little features like that for shaping the sound and, and stuff. But it all basically is about um, uh, picking sounds from free sound and then mixing them together and often they're mutilated and such and that creates the background sound that we're listening to right now <coughs> so that's what drone sound TV does uh, it generates this 24 hours a day and um, and uh, along with some visuals uh, the visuals that you're looking at up on the screen with the exception of me I'm not usually on the screen with your own sound TV. So imagine some of these other displays have quite a bit to do with uh, the show uh, with your own sound TV um, and what the sounds are doing and all that kind of stuff. Or well, you might talk about that, or you can just check out the stream, like I said. And it's all coming in there. There is some uh, documentation and stuff. All this stuff um, is uh, controlled. Here's where we get to what we're talking about. Uh, all this stuff is controlled by uh, chat just like my Twitch bot, uh, the MS Twitch bot for controlling remote control cameras and all that. Um, so, uh, for instance, um, I can add a sound of violin to it. Oh, crap, you can't see because I turned it off. Okay, let's see. There we go. So, uh, I can add a uh, sound of a violin. There's the YouTube chat up here. Okay. Um, okay. So, in the YouTube chat, I say something like a drone violin and uh, it will add a violin to the mix. What it does is it runs off and uh, it goes and looks on Freesound for using a, they have a really nice API actually, Freesound. <coughs> so it goes out to uh, Freesound, it searches for um, a violin sound. Oh, it also flashes this little LED so that the person in the chat knows that their request has been received and uh, it responds in the chat too to some other stuff. Uh, see, it says right here, it says, oh, I got a request. Thank you. And, of course, it says exclamation point because uh, all chat bots have to be over-enthusiastic. Anyways, it searched uh, there, and I found this one, violin, which it's actually added to the mix. You can hear it right now. We'll listen for a second. There is indeed a violin in there. Um say someone is. In its entirety, these are the sounds that we are listening to. I'm listening to a thunder sample from Clank Build, Field, uh, crickets from Mitchell Sounds, ocean from uh, B uh, Beparai, um, and a violin from Xera, a seashore from Echoing Ripple, and ventilation sound. I think I barely hear it. Do you hear it? It sounds like... Yes, I'm really into sound. Sounds like, hear it? Yeah, I think that's the ventilation sound, 71 seconds. It's probably the waveform that we're seeing above our heads right there, the really, really small one. I think that's what it was. Uh, violin's really, li really nice. By the way, if you like this stuff, um, don't be thinking, man, shut up, I want to listen, because you could, should go to my channel. You should go to Drone Sound TV, and you should subscribe. Because uh, there are many, many, many hours, hundreds of hours already of replays. Long, they're all long plays by definition, because it's a twenty-four hour stream. So they're all, they're all like eleven hours, eleven hour replays and stuff. So uh, plenty of those to check out and enjoy. And uh, when I say uh, it sounds like this all the time, that's really just a simplification uh, to 
make things efficient. It sounds like all kinds of different stuff all the time. It really depends um, on on what users have asked to hear, and also on uh, we're going to get to the next part here. Um, also on uh, the contents of this here file. Uh, sort these out. So, okay, and that makes it easier to look at. Uh, these are the keywords that it is currently using. It's using air duct, birds, boat, ocean, cicadas, cicadas? How do you pronounce that? Uh, creaking, sea ship, uh, crickets, fairy, forest, game land. Yes, I put these keywords together and this is this is the design component. This is the sound design component. That and the, this, the sound effects um, are the sound design component of, of Drone Sound TV. Um, and no small task, by the way. Um, figuring out what goes well together and which keywords net the kinds of sounds that, that fit. So, being as um, as drone as uh, freesound.org has uh, something like four million sounds, <coughs> uh, this is now the only ambient sound machine in the world with four million sounds. Um, so, I think that's cool. Uh, and it's changing all the time. It uses the latest content, so if there's, it's just always going to be new. It's always going to have fresh content. But uh, anyways, so but, you know, like a whole stream that just sounds like this always and forever. I mean, well, yeah, that is useful because for one thing, I'm gonna play this in my bathroom all the time, and I'm like, you know, I, I think this is a good fit for that. Um, so, um, but uh, it's not just that because you can change these. Uh, these keyword sets. So, um, <clears throat> for one thing, uh, again, we're back in the chat here. Uh, you can use this here, uh, mood, mood command. Um, all the commands, pretty much, when you type their name, they tell you how it works quite verbosely. I found most of you people won't read. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it really short. Anyways, there's a bunch of them in there already. To do it, you just say mood and the name of the thing in the chat. Yes, in the YouTube chat. Sorry, YouTube chat. Um, so, <clears throat> as you know, I already have a Twitch bot, and uh, that uh, uh, I just have to connect it to this part of the code. So we might work on that a little bit. Anyways, enough with it. Right now we're using, it says uh, in the chat here, it, it thoughtfully informs me that we're using the relax um, mood. But uh, there's another one you guys might like. It's uh, called Arcade. Um, and uh, when you type mood arcade, it switches to a different set of keywords um, that sounds like arcade stuff, like you're you know, like you're in an arcade or whatever. Um, anyways, and it tells you in the chat, of course, that it has done so. And uh, well, look at the keywords, and you can see that it has changed dramatically. Uh, pinball is um, prominent. Uh, Game Boy, Nano Loop, Retro, Arcade. Video game, computer games, Casio, uh, casino ambiance, which I found was good. Power up, which is a good one. So, anyways, <coughs> a bunch of these keywords. How many? Uh, we'll find out. Thirty-two. Um, so, thirty-two keywords make up the uh, arcade mood, and uh, it's slowly switching. It gradually starts switching to it. You'll see. Also in the chat, <coughs> you may have noticed it. Uh, it reports uh, things about the credits, gives credits for the uh, samples that it plays, including links to the actual sound, uh, which is really cool. I'll see, I'll show you what you can do with that because, well, if you do have an account, um, the cool thing is uh, you can rate the sounds in here. It takes you directly to the sound page where, uh, sorry, I have this really annoying trackpad. Takes you to the, uh, this might look familiar, it must have been on the screen a few seconds ago. Um, so this is one of the sounds that was played recently. <coughs> it came from the uh, sound designer of Fifa and uh, I thought it was pretty good, so uh, I'd probably rate it. And there's another good reason for me to rate it is, oh, I'm not logged in. Anyways, I would if I were logged in. Because <coughs> uh, sounds are uh, basically played in the Order. They're selected randomly, but they're selected based on their popularity. So, more popular songs are man, it got crazy loud in here. Hold on.
Sorry, we uh, we booted up every arcade machine in the in the place. <clears throat> so um, as you can, as you can hear, it's uh, it's completely switched over to the arcade arcade audio theme now. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So as I was saying, um, more highly rated sounds are uh, played more often. So. Um, and it's kind of a feedback loop if uh, users rate the sounds, if they click on the links in chat and they go rate the sounds, then the better rated ones will, will be played more often, so that works out. I'm not going to talk about the ANSI animation uh, part of it, which we covered in last week's show. Um, uh, not last week, so the, the couple of weeks ago. I, it, the replay is on Twitch, and it should be on YouTube by now, too, so check that out. Um, <clears throat> But what I am going to talk about is this part, which no one has seen yet. Uh, so, you know, congratulations, you are the first people to see this. Uh, so this is the display behind the display. So this is what you're, you know, you're seeing on um, what you're seeing on Drone Sound TV all the time is this layout, and uh, this layout is a um, is a uh, browser page. So. <clears throat> and the browser page updates every, uh, I can't remember, like, whatever, it's set to some number. Um, and this is being served over the Raspberry Pi, and then the Raspberry Pi, um, i.e. Drone Sound TV, controls the content of this page. So this is how it is, <clears throat> pardon me, that you're getting the uh, waveforms and the uh, URLs and other content up there. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice that there's, uh, there's a, gr a, a green um, a mask. A green screen mask. Pardon me. Um, this lemonade is giving me some serious hiccups here. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, there's a green screen mask um, in the positions of the so-called Pi Cam up here, which, as I said before, is the real camera, and um, and also in the position of the console, which might strike you as weird because, as I said before, this is a this is a window capture, right? So. It is, and it is a window capture, um, uh, a terminal, uh, terminal, just a regular terminal capture. But it is um, on OBS. It's behind the uh, the terminal capture is behind the browser. So I have the browser capture window, window capture capturing this browser that I showed you, the one with all the uh, masks on it. So this is in front, and then behind it is the video capture of the uh, camera and the terminal capture of the SSH session uh, into the Raspberry Pi. Get it? So that's what's happening. So actually when I remove these uh, green uh, panels, were I to remove them, uh, you would see instead, well, I'm going to show you in a second, you would see instead the uh, this purple background. Now, uh, it's not just colored. Actually, whoever was in here last, um, yes, all users can do this. Any users, just like all my stuff, I, I open it up to everybody. So, all users can change the uh, background. Whoever was in here last uh, changed it to this color. So, uh, you can change it to any other color you want, and you can also change it to a, um, a random image. So, um, I just used the. Oh, crap, you can't see it because I took the desktop off. All right, I just used the color command. Sorry, you didn't see. Uh, color command, color FF0000. That's a real train, actually. Sorry. <coughs> and a real gong, too. The um, Spanish Inquisition is here again. Okay, so um, <laughs> when you type color FF0000, which of course is red, all red read all the time is um, uh, and then it changes the background to uh, red so you can use it can set it to any color they want they can customize the layout um, and they can use the BG command um, to change it to a random image I'm going to turn off the desktop capture real quick and you're going to see how this the regular layout normally looks um, additionally you'll see <laughs> And I covered this again on the uh, in the episode uh, where I covered. Um, yeah, that can happen once in a while. In that episode um, where I covered the um, 
ANSI animation. I talked about code scroller too. So that's what you're seeing in the console window uh, up there right now. Is uh, is um, one of the text displays is called code scroller, and um, it actually it actually scrolls back and forth. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called code scroller. <laughs> Oh, and it's looking at ANSI animation right now. So right now it's scrolling back and forth through the code of ANSI animation. ANSI animation is the script that displays those ANSI animations. Oh my god, was that the most obvious sentence ever? Anyways, this makes it, this kind of, sim yes, I'm not doing this. This is, there's a bunch of these simulated displays, simulated console displays um, on Drone Sound TV. Um, so you'll see like um, an, uh, another one like, I'll probably get one right now. No, it's fancy. Um, once in a while, I'll do these things where it looks like it's typing something. That's not me. That's a, a program called Ad Player. Um, let's see, yeah. So right now, it's doing it right now, um, including keystrokes. It adds keystrokes. Okay, so it's occasionally so that people get the impression that there's uh, someone actually there doing stuff. It's funny. Um, I'm sorry, the prankster. So, um, <clears throat> ANSI Animation does this. It, it plays a, a random ANSI animation, and I wrote some tools to convert all this. This is all covered on a previous show. Um, but, um, anyways, the background. As you'll notice, the background around the edges of this thing has changed. Now, I know it's hard to see, uh, as I said, uh, this masks um, that we're looking at on the desktop view ensure that the background is not shown on that. See, so. Um, even though the background would be on the, it is on the whole page, um, because of these green uh, parts, it gets cut out, and what is an OBS layered behind it gets shown instead. That's in one case it's the camera over here, and in another case it's a terminal capture. <clears throat> okay, so um, but what's really cool about all of this? Why would I have built it that way? You're probably thinking, well, uh, and you uh, probably know enough. So, anyways. Um, yeah, uh, you probably know that I'm, I'm planning ahead for like I want th everything I, I build it so that it like what would be the point in building some this system to have a theme unless you could have an infinite number of themes and and users could control them. Otherwise, why bother, right? Um, so, anyway, so of course users can change these layouts. Um, here's one of them, for instance. Another one is called Fortune. Pardon <coughs> me. And it's uh, that's not me farting. That's a sound. Uh, that would be like when I'm a fart. <laughs> it would be like, oh my god, are you okay? Um, okay, so uh, so it's going to change theme here uh, in a second. Um, you might notice, of course, there is a delay. Not as you know for streaming, there's always a streaming delay that you can't predict. My goodness, it's gone bananas. What are these sounds? Um, <coughs> so. Um, uh, so, I'm going to change the theme. Somebody else set these colors. I don't know, I guess. Um, you never know what the hair will set them to. Uh, and in this theme, instead of the links down at the um, bottom, you get these uh, a random fortune. Uh, random quote from the uh, fortune thing. And still the Drone Sound TV display. Something like that. Okay, uh, now there's another theme uh, called, I'm going to type it in the chat called media, which uh, really is mostly meant to demonstrate uh, the use of the masks. So as you see, I typed theme media uh, in here. And when it changes, um, I, can't, I have to keep turning off the desktop and all. Okay, so <clears throat> when it changes the theme, changes to the media layout, um, uh, you'll see that there's uh, there's no green mask uh, or in the uh, in the area where this uh, yes an embedded YouTube video uh, is playing yes an embedded YouTube video playing on a YouTube stream um, I do get the irony so anyways <coughs> um, you um, y you'll see that um, y you get to see this on the page which it is embedded on the page itself I'm showing you right here. So this is the layout for the, um, um, what's it called? Media. For the media theme. Man, it's getting hotter in here even. Um, the layout for the media theme doesn't have a uh, green mask right there. Instead, it has an embed uh, of this uh, YouTube thing. 
and later you'll have a JavaScript controlled player that users can um, can control. So um, that's how that works. If I wanted to put something else, any other layout anywhere on the page, I, I would just remove these masks and change the layout to whatever I wanted. Um, so let me go back to the default layout because I like to stay out of what's going on with it. Okay. Let's see. 28 minutes. God, it's so hot. <clears throat> I drink this entire glass full of lemonade and it's not even working. Oh crap, I forgot to put vodka in it. That's why. Shit. I'll have to, I'll have to redo that. Alright, so here we are back at the default theme. And uh, I think I'm going to switch back to the um, relaxed mood. That's really tried and true. The uh, arcade mood is, is kind of new. I just made it. So again, users can change the um, um, which layout is used, um, but um, they can even change the layout itself because uh, the layout is just HTML and CSS, and uh, they'll just upload it. Not directly, but by a mechanism that I think I'll show you because it's easy to show you. So these displays, the ANSI animation displays, I'm going to take away this other stuff and just do ANSI animations for a while. Now if um, <coughs> you ever have a quick command that you have to run over and over and over and over and over again at a command line and uh, bash, you can just do it this way. You just do while true and then a semicolon and then do and then the command you want to do and then a semicolon and then uh, done. You can put a bunch of commands in here. Just put do in front of the first one, not the rest of them. Anyways, so this will this is a loop to run ANSI animation over and over. Every time ANSI animation runs it, it picks a different uh, random one. I'm not going to get into where they are stored and all that kind of stuff. It's in the diagram. Where is that diagram? I was all like pushing the diagram out. Oh, look, this diagram. And then you get to see it for like three seconds. Okay, there it is, finally. The diagram that no one's ever seen before. <clears throat> um, it has changed moods, but it changes moods gra gradually. That's what it's supposed to do. Not um, like schizophrenic. Okay. Ah, here's the drone sound big drone sound TV big system diagram 2.0. Ding 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 ding. <clears throat> As you see, and the upper part uh, represents the internet and all the wonderful and terrible tragic things <laughs> that come from it. Um, and below uh, is Raspberry Pi land, which even though it's the bigger part, is really the smaller part because it's just this one tiny little single board Linux computer. <coughs> but inside that tiny computer, oh my goodness, what many things are taking place. Look at all those boxes and all the lists inside of the boxes. Uh, this is the part I was teasing you about. Yeah, Twitch.tv, uh, which of course would simply be a conduit between Toybox and RPI, which you've seen if you've been on the show before, um, and uh, this this stuff, uh, Stagecoast, which is running Drone Sound TV. Um, so uh, that is crossed out because, of course, it's not implemented yet, but will be very, very, very soon. <coughs> Uh, you'll see that the uh, Drone Sound TV uh, is mostly accomplished by very few core uh, programs, one called Drone TV, and they're called Synth on Board, and uh, they both make extensive use of SOX. Uh, SOX SOX is a very popular and very powerful Unix sound manipulation utility, which I recommend you look into, available as binary and libraries and many other things, <coughs> and the keywords that we covered before. Uh, and of course all of that's going to the open broadcast system. You're about the only people, if you watched this episode, who would be able to parse what this box means um, because uh, now you know why I've listed out window capture and audio capture. Um, because it's really about capturing that uh, browser display. Um, and the browser display is going to be the entire display. So that's the entire layout. So yes, I've made it so viewers can completely control your layout. That is the idea. Um, not just choose which layout, um, but even um, design their own layout. 
and, and provide it in HTML and CSS. That's the idea. <coughs> so dry here. Okay. Um, let's see. So I uh, use commands. Like I said, um, you know, you saw me um, using a color command and uh, other stuff, theme and mood. And there's actually like a whole mess of commands. And uh, man, I'm not going to like keep lists of all these things. That's crazy. So there's a system for that. There's actually a, a, a directory full of commands, and um, users can actually submit those too. And that, that those features aren't open yet because they need a lot of security um, safeguards, of course. <coughs> so, um, and then uh, the mess of it is these YouTube tools. Uh, so there is one to keep track of the ch uh, chat. Uh, there's one to talk to the chat. There's one for banning users. Yes, you get banned uh, if you cuss. Uh, for example, I made the uh, um, the uh, fake cuss word uh, mixel click so uh, I can get banned uh, so I can get banned um, without actually having to say anything so if you say mixel click uh, in my YouTube channel you get banned for 90 seconds there you go and actually my favorite part if you notice in the thing it actually deletes their old messages so that's kind of funny you're not only like banned but it's like you never existed <laughs> it's kind of cool <coughs> um, so, anyways, uh, <coughs> and some stuff to keep track of the tokens. There's like a mess of tokens to work with the YouTube API and stuff. And furthermore, I need two tokens. I need an application token, also a user token to post on behalf of users. So there's a whole thing there. <coughs> there's also uh, a thing with user info. Rather than not, right, even though it is not yet used. Oh crap! I can't test anything for 90 seconds. All right. <coughs> um, even though uh, it's not um, it's not used yet, uh, I I do have um, like access to users' profiles pics, so I can put them on the screen and say that you know like so and so requested violence or whatever. Um, that's handled by a thing called YT User Info. All of these are my own tools, of course, that are up uh, using the YouTube API. Uh, specifically, uh, the uh, YouTube Search API, the Live Chat API, the Live Stream API, and the Subscriber API how those things are accomplished. I also give some um, lip service here to the uh, panel system, which is what I call the thing, uh, the code that uh, produces these um, these pages um, on command from user uh, layouts and stuff. Um, that's a, a couple of different utilities and a collection of themes, um, which, as I said, users will be able to contribute themselves. <coughs> um, uh, by users, I mean viewers, viewers of your channel, not just Drone Sound TV, your channel, yes, your your channel. Um, and then the console displays, like I was talking about, ad player and code scroller and stuff. So, ah, 36 minutes. Man, usually, I mean, I love these shows, I really do, but man, it is just so freaking hot today. I gotta get some, like, AC back here in the studio or something. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that drop through Drone Sound TV. What were we going to do? Oh, I was going to implement a new theme <coughs> that uh, didn't use any green panels. It's going to take up the whole page. It's just an example of the different kinds of layouts and stuff. But, uh, uh, man, I'm too burnt already. And uh, I think I'm going to have to get some more powerful lemonade. So, hope you guys enjoyed that stuff. Um, if you did, um, do check out Drone Sound TV. Again, just go to youtube.com and search for Drone Sound TV, uh, where it's doing this 24 hours a day whenever I'm not um, on Twitch. And uh, it sounds like this or something like this most of the time. I uh, like that arcade stuff. Uh, if you like this show, you should click the subscribe buttons because I'm doing this kind of stuff all the time. And uh, if you like the beat stuff that you heard at the opening, you should still click subscribe because I'm doing that even more often. And um, hope to see you next time. And uh, as always, um, Master Monkey here at Cowboy Mike and our co-host, the girl with no name, bidding you adieu and say stay true, stay low. Monkey out.